Let's move to the question number seven. So it says Rahi plans to drive from city A to city station C at a speed of 70 km per hour to catch a train arriving there from B. Okay. He must reach C at least 15 minutes before the arrival of this one. Okay. So again, there is a direction sense is needed here. So let me draw the directions here. First of all. So I can say east, west, north and south. So this is east, west, north and south. Okay. It is known that C is located between west and northwest of B. Okay. So west and northwest. So this is my northwest of B. With BC at 60 degree to 80. Also, C is located between south and southwest. So C is located between south and southwest of A. With AC at 30 degree to AB. Okay. All right. So first of all, I can draw a figure. The drawing of figure is very, very important. Now, angle, if, we, if I look at it, there are three points that is A, B, and C. Like this one, if I say. So, when he plans to here, uh, okay. It is known that C is located between west and northwest. Take care, between west and northwest here. Yeah, this is C or B. Okay. With BC at 60 degree to AB. ABC. So this angle is nothing but that is 60 degree. It says with BC at 60 degree to AB. So BC is making 60 degree to AB. And also C is located between south and southwest of A with AC at 30 degree to AB. So AC is making an angle of 30 degree to AB. So this angle is equal to 30 degree. So angle C must be equal to 90 degree. Any doubts to anyone tell the sister, please tell me. So we know the figure is nothing but it's a right angle triangle. Now further it says Rahim plans to drive from city A to station C at a speed of 70 km per hour to catch a train. So Rahim is traveling from A to C at a speed of 70 km per hour. Okay, he must reach C at least 15 minutes before the arrival of the train. The train needs to be located 500 kilometers south of A. So this is 500 kilometers. Okay, south of A. At 8 a.m. So the train starts from B at 8 a.m. And travel at a speed of 50 km per hour. Okay. So this train is traveling with a speed of 50 km per hour. It is known that C is located between west and northwest of B with BC at 60 degree to Also C is located between this, that is of no significance. The latest time by which Rahim must leave A and still catch the train to close this to. Okay, so the distance A is 500, so can you use the property of 90, 30, 60 to find out these two here? What are these two sides? Now, in a standard right angle triangle, in a standard right angle triangle, I'm just going to write to it here. If this angle is 90 degree, there is an angle 30 degree. So this angle is equal to 60 degree. So 1, root 3 and this 2. So this is the ratio of the sides. In any 30, 60, 90 degree, here the sides are always in the ratio. 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That is 1 is square plus root 3 is square. That is equal to 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. That will be the side of the ratio. So opposite to 90, it is 500. Okay, so opposite to 30, it will be the half of 2. So opposite to 30, the length BC, it is equal to nothing but that is 250. And the length AC will be equal to 250 root 3. Is that clear to all of you now? Please tell me yes or no. Priyanka, Puneet. Sandeep, Gagan. Okay. It needs a little bit of geometry also. Geometry is still there also tested here. So now, what is the time taken by train to reach to C? Can you all calculate that? Take it. Sorry. So the time taken by train 
to reach to C. If the distance BC, which is 250, 250 upon the time is speed is equal to 50, so 250 upon 50, that is going to be taken 5 hours. Okay. So, and since it is leaving the station A at 8 a.m., so it will arrive at station C. Okay. This implies that it will arrive at station C. Can anyone tell me? It will arrive at station C at what time? That is 1 p.m. Okay. So basically, Rahi now wants to reach to C by what time? Please tell me. Rahim should be here, reach to C at 12.45. You all agree with me? Rahim should reach to C at 12.45. So I can say Rahim should reach to C at 12.45 p.m. Okay. Okay, at 12.45. On what is the time taken by Rahim to travel to 50 root by 3? So time taken by Rahim is nothing but that is 250 root 3 upon 70. What is the value of root 3? Root 3 is equal to 1.732. You all know that, huh? Root 3 is equal to 1.732. So you can tell me 250 into 1.732 upon this one. So 250 into 1.732. Okay, that is 433 and 433 by 70. That will be comes out to be approximately 6.18 hours or you can take it as 6.18 hours. Okay. So in 12.45, you can subtract 6.18 hours or if you can take 1 8 hour. So, or you can, if you want to keep it in the terms of fraction, you can keep it in terms of fraction. So tell me, subtract 6 8. From 12.45, if you subtract 6, what will be the value? 12.45 minus 6. Twelve forty-five minus subtract 6, that will be 6.45. Yes or no? 12.45 minus 6 is equal to? 6.45 and then I need to subtract 0.18 hour also or 0.2 hours. So 6.45 I subtract 0.18 hour. So the answer will become up to be option number B which is 6.30 approximate answer. Is that clear to all of you now? Please tell me. Point 0.18 hour or I can say 0.2 hours. So 0.2 hours is 0.25 hours is equal to approximately 15 minutes. No? So it has to be slightly, it has to be the thing must uh, must leave just a little after 6.30. 6.30 to 6.45 will be approximately 15 minutes, which is approximately 0.25. And from 6.45 to 12.45, it is 6. So the answer is B. So this is also a difficult question. So any doubts to anyone now? And you must have observed in today's Sessions that, uh, as well as in the last couple of sessions, that a lot of questions of PhD have been mixed with the geometry also. Okay, so we'll stop.